All right, so in the last video, we created a bottom banner ad. And in this video, I want to go over how we can create the interstitial ad. And just to remind you what that is, that is a ad transition that you might find between one activity and another. So if we just click on this interstitial ad button, it will take us to this screen. And as soon as we exit out of it, it will take us to our second activity. So let's go ahead and make that. And the first thing we're gonna do is close this phone window. And immediately after that, we are going to go to our res file and go to our layout and open our activity main XML. And inside here, we have to create a button. And this is going to be the button that sends us to our second activity. So we'll write button and we'll get a wrap content for height and width. And we will give it an ID of button underscore interstitial. And of course we need to add the ID tag. Then we will center that in the parent. So we'll do sent in parent and set that to true. And we have to give this button some text and we will write in here interstitial add. And then we can close it. Then we can open our Java file and go to where we have our main folder. And inside here, we are going to create a second activity. So we will right click on our project name and we will go to activity and we will click on empty activity. And we're gonna change this name to interstitial activity and click on finish. Then we can go to our activity interstitial XML and we're just going to add some text inside so we can tell that it is a second activity. And the first thing we are going to do as always is get rid of this constraint layout and add a relative layout. And then right below we will add a text view. So we'll type in text view and we'll get a wrap content and another wrap content. And right below, we will add the text, which will say second activity. We'll give it a text size of 20 SP. We will give it a text color of Android color black, so we can see it a bit better. And finally, we will center this in the parent and set that to true. Then we can go back to our main activity and add a new private late init var. So we'll do private late init var. And this is going to be interstitial add of type interstitial add. Then we're gonna make a call to our interstitial add. So we'll type in interstitial add. And then we will create that function right below. So we will type in private function interstitial add. And inside here we can get started by typing a function. And this is going to be called function next activity, which will take the user to the next activity. Now we're just gonna create an intent. So value i equals intent. And inside here, we will first import the intent and then we can type in the context, which will be this and the class we want to go to interstitial activity class dot Java. And then we want to start this activity and pass in our intent. And then right below, we can go ahead and instantiate our interstitial ad. So we'll type in interstitial ad equals interstitial ad with this as the context. Then we have to add the add unit ID. And since we did not do this in the XML, we have to do it here. So we'll write add unit ID. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste in the default key that Google has provided us with so we do not get banned from the servers. Then we will also create an ad request. So we have to do interstitial ad dot load ad and create an ad request dot builder and we will call build. And that will take care of the initialization that we need for this part of the ad. Right below, we're gonna create a on click listener for our button so we can actually load the ad as soon as the user decides to click on the button. So let's type in button underscore interstitial and then add a set on click listener. And inside here, we're gonna add a if condition. So we're gonna write if interstitial add is loaded, we'll say interstitial add dot show. Else, else we are going to log that our ad was not loaded. The interstitial ad did not load yet. And right below that, we are going to write interstitial add and add an ad listener, which will be an object which extends add listener. Then we need to add some curly brackets. And inside here, we can add all the same methods that we added for our banner ad. So here we can just do command or control N and we can click on override methods. And you'll see it gives us all of these methods that we can add to our inter interstitial add object. So what we are going to select is the add loaded, add opened, add closed, add failed to load, add clicked, add left application. So we will click on those ones and we will click on OK. And it will add all of these for us, although we can just remove this one over here because it is a double. So these are the overridden functions we will have left. And just as before, we are going to add logs to each one of these overridden methods. And I'm just gonna speed through this part of the video so you can just see what I mean. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
Perfect, so we've added all of these tags and now we just have to add a few more lines of code before we can run this program. And that is in our overridden function on add closed. We want to start the next activity and we want to load the next ad. So when the user tries to go back to this activity, they will still have to watch another ad. So let's just type in first interstitial ad and then we're gonna write dot load ad and it's gonna have the same ad request as earlier. So we're gonna do dot builder and dot build. And then immediately under, we are going to call our next activity function so we can actually start the next activity. And this all happens when the user closes the ad, so that is great. All right, and there's one more thing I have to do before I continue with this tutorial, and that is add the interstitial word to each one of these tags because it will be quite confusing with our banner ad. We will do this by holding down Alt and Shift and clicking right in front of all these ads and then typing interstitial. Cool. Then we can go ahead and click on run. And let's also open up logcat and type in main activity here. So as you can see, our interstitial ad has been loaded and our regular banner ad has been loaded, which means we can click on both of them and they will function. So if we tap on interstitial ad, it will take us to this transition ad and when we exit it, it will take us straight to the second activity. And that's essentially all you need to do to make this interstitial ad work. There's one more thing you might want to do so the user doesn't get upset and that is and that is add this next activity function in case the ad fails to load. Because here so far we have this check that if it is loaded, we will show the ad, but if it is not loaded, the user will never be able to reach the second activity because the on ad closed function is what triggers the second activity. So definitely make sure you add the next activity function somewhere in the code so the user can just go there directly even if there's no internet and there's no ads. But uh, other than that, this was a very straightforward tutorial and in the next tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to add the rewarded ads. And those are my personal favorites because it's always nice to earn something at the end of an advertisement. So you earn some money, they earn some in-game currency, everyone's happy. But uh, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.